How's it going, everybody? It is the final tier list of the week, the tech tier list. I hope you enjoyed uh, the past week of tier list. I enjoyed making them. I love discussing this kind of stuff in the comments and stuff, and I hope it has helped. Um, sorry, I hope it helped you guys. I hope it helps you guys decide who to rank up in an objective manner. Again, these are just my opinions, so take that for what it is. Uh, I had to cut away because I had to move the red skull because he I didn't I forgot to move him. <laughs> His buff is is here. So anyways, in the useless tier, we have Iron Patriot, Psycho Man and Vulture. Not much to say here. Moving on. Next, we have the usable tier. We have Silver Warrior, um, who's a seven star Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Howard the Duck, Kang. Uh, he's a seven star now. Shout out to Kang. Nebula, Sentinel. Uh, Silver Centurion, Star Lord, Ultron, and Vision. I think Kang could probably get moved up to Amazing with his synergies. Um, it really only requires one, um, but you know, eh, we'll keep him there for now. Uh, he's pretty niche. Uh, so, uh, in the Amazing tier, we have Captain America, Sam Wilson, Dark Hawk, Guillotine 299, Infamous Iron Man, Iron Man, Infinity War, Penny Parker, Punisher 299, uh, Red Skull, whose buff is here. Um, he's I think he fits amazing. I just haven't seen him overly used yet, even after his buff. So I think he's, he could stay here. Um, he's definitely a defender. So I would put that there too. You can do some interesting stuff on attack, but he's mostly just to annoy you on defense. Uh, we got Rocket Raccoon, Ultron OG, who's now a seven star, OG Vision, War Machine, and Yondu. All right, now moving on to God tier. We have two people here two changes so we got ant-man future here obviously guardian hulkbuster og iron man now we have iron heart debuting here at god tier i watched a lot of gameplay of her and she can just dish out she's purely an attacker she can just dish out tons of damage pretty quickly lady death strike is also god tier i think she does have some i mean she trips me up on defense sometimes with that healing um but um yeah as an attacker very good as well i think she fits here at god tier Mysterio, um, tried and true defender here. Omega Sentinel. Oh, Shocker also was a change. So Shocker moved all the way from usable to God tier. Um, his, his, I can't believe I was sleeping on him, but his ascension from six star to seven star and being available in those crystals and pulling him for myself, I realized, damn, this guy's good. Um, he's very easy to play and he can dish out tons of damage very easily. You don't even have to do his full rotation. You can just throw a special one, build some charges, um, parry, and then heavy, and just deal some solid damage. Shuri's still here at God tier. I think as people figured out how to play her or fight her, she can still remain here at God tier. I don't think she deserves to be higher than that. Um, we have Viv Vision here, and we have Ghost. Uh, I think Viv Vision might be able to be moved down, but let me know uh, in the comments below what you think about that. Now moving on to the see you later alligator tier this is the most probably controversial change i've ever made but hear me out uh, so first we have nimrod he just melts every single mutant it's crazy um i think that dust on defense is the only one who really doesn't get affected by him and maybe onslaught uh, obviously the two newest mutants but um i think he can still purify all of her um Alice's. he just can't shock her so you know but he's still just absolutely amazing against most mutants we got warlock here who's obviously just overall just a good attacker defender one of the best tech champions in the game in my opinion and then we have this stark enhanced spider-man at the sea later alligator tier this is specifically i mean not just specifically but this is because he's now a seven star if he's awakened you want that awakened ability in my opinion but I don't think people understand once he, once that ability to gain a relic has come, his stun chain potential is insane and his damage is crazy. Having a rank three Stark Enhanced Spider-Man as a seven star available now is nutty. I don't think people understand how strong this character is. So he can just dish out basically loads of damage and he doesn't need to hit the opponent to ramp up. So that means if there's any annoying battlegrounds nodes, you just dodge back um, 10 times and you still have your damage ready. Uh, if you play it, you can hit them a couple times here and there to kind of build up your power to almost a special one and then build back up to 10 charges. Just by dashing, just by dexing, 
and then once you're there, you can uh, intercept or parry, doesn't matter, full combo them, special one stun, full combo again, um, relic, uh, full combo again, probably another special one again, they're stunned again, uh, hit them maybe once or twice, and then heavy to power drain, that's the rotation. And if they're not knocked out by that third one, you can just heavy power drain them and then kind of get back to work. And then he has that built-in auto evade that's not quite as, that's not 100% like Silk's, but it's a very useful for a lot of fights, saves me a ton of time, uh, a lot of the times. And the, he just hits so hard that the champion's probably gonna be dead. I mean, a rank three Stark Man Spider-Man is insane. I can't imagine a rank four or five. Um, so getting this character is, is as a seven star is uh, pretty game changing. I don't, I don't think a lot of people really realize that power. I, I, I really recommend maybe taking him into battlegrounds as a rank four or something, uh, if you're still on the fence and try him out. Um, now, obviously that is no like meta dependent, but most metas I've been able to use him. Um, even in metas where there's just like, um, I don't know, there's one where he was taking like, what was it, bleed damage or something, thorns damage. He can burst them down pretty quickly. Uh, and then he has that special two with shock. He's just a really good champion. I'll get off my rant. I'm just trying to say, I really hope more people try this champion. He's very, very, very good. Um, yeah, now he doesn't have the utility of like a Nimrod, but he has the attack of just, uh, just all of his own. So anyways, I hope, and that stun is just beautiful. So I hope, I hope more people try him out. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the tier list. Let me know what you think. Um, anyone who needs to be, uh, in, uh, you know, moved up or moved down, let me know. Uh, and let me know about what you think about the changes. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. I will get, I will wrap it up. So y'all take care and uh, see you later.